So we've talked a lot about implementation. We've talked about um, you know, process documentation. We've talked about all the different ways that the two teams kind of work together to make sure that the security gets rolled out. And you mentioned earlier that it's a phased approach, which means to me that strategy, especially like longer term strategy, is really important aspect of all this. So talk to me a little bit about what it goes into like making a plan for a rollout. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we've deployed a lot of solutions at Solar Ones, but we don't do it in a vacuum. We don't do it because there's a need or it's cool. It's really part of a one, three, five year plan that's been set by our executives, our leaders, um, with our influence and for our opinions, by the way, um, from the offset. So, for example, we're at best, excuse me, um, a better, best, or good, better, best, good, better, best plan on um, becoming passwordless, right? Mm -hmm. um, and so that takes literally years of foundations. Hey, first, like you said earlier in the conversation, we need to um, deploy MFA to everyone. Yep. Then there's hardware tokens. And then what's next and what's next? Um, and so that doesn't happen overnight. That's years in the making. Um, and so you have to have a high vision on what you want, right? What's the end goal? and work your way backwards with that. And, and from our side, you if you work in security, you need to be patient. Mm -hmm. You're not gonna see returns immediately, hardly ever, especially when it comes to what we were talking about with culture. It mm -hmm. takes time to bake that in and have it ingrained in an organization. But not even that, uh, rolling out a new to EDR solution or endpoint detection and response solution, mm -hmm. that takes time. Um, tuning those policies takes time because there are going to be instances that you're not planning for that could be complete roadblocks for your users. You have to adapt to those. Doing the big switch off, like I admitted earlier, not the best way to go about it because you're going to spend a lot of time troubleshooting. You're going to spend a lot of time re-enabling the business. And, and time ramping up our technicians, our engineers, to learn the technology yeah. to implement it. We don't know everything, right? <laughs> and so when new technology, yeah, we don't know everything. Ah! So when new technologies do come out, we have to send our team to training on top of training, um, learn from different companies how they rolled out their, yeah. their products and, and solutions. So it does take time, and that's why um, it is a three, five year roadmap. In security, another thing that you'll see that is very time consuming is the volume. If you are mid-journey in rolling out your vulnerability management program, and you're starting to see thousands, tens of thousands oh. of vulnerabilities roll into your, your environment, it takes time to chew through that. Half of those are that's probably why I'm false positives. That's why I'm in IT operations. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's truth. <laughs> but what, what you find is, as you mature your department, as you mature your practices, you either onboard staff, understand business processes that drop that volume down a significant amount. And again, that, that takes time to chew through. Yeah. Um, something that I see in, in some of my peers and some other organizations is burnout. The volume is so high that they think they're gonna tackle it for 12 hours a day every day. And what you end up happening is you end up in the hospital because you've been working oh, too much. Yeah. That's a real story, it's not real. about me, but that's a real it's story. Real. It's real you have to give your people time to digest what's going on. Yeah. And that has to be factored into your plan. And I think we do a really good job with, oh, yeah. with that. You know, once we finish a huge initiative, yeah. there is a breathing room for Got to. Yeah. two days. No, no more than, <laughs> that's more like two weeks. Like, no, like there, there has to be breathing room because you know, we've been pressing the team so hard to meet these goals. So yeah, yeah. That, that comes into factor. I feel like we could talk about burnout a lot, but we're, that's a whole other oh, conversation. Fair, whole fair. other conversation. Is that the wellness department? <laughs> 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 yeah. okay. I think um, I think what what you're all what you're getting at here is like, make a plan, but be adaptable. Adaptability is super important. You have to be iterative sometimes because things are going to change. New threats are going to come out that you can't possibly be prepared for because you don't think it's going to happen. So you have to be prepared to kind of adapt to the things that are happening around you, just like everywhere else in IT.